The largest exhibition of British pop art ever opens at Christie's New Gallery in London. When Britain Went Pop highlights the influence British pop artists like David Hockney and Richard Hamilton had on the movement that emerged in the 1950s. Locke Anderson Kressler is the head of private sales for Christie's. He points out that British pop art is still overshadowed by American examples, selling for much higher prices. With British pop art, it hasn't been quite as internationalized, and I think that's one of the steps that we're trying to do here, is really make um, an international voice for uh, artists like Peter Blake, Gerald Lang, um, and in many cases, artists that aren't as known, such as Derek Boucher or Peter Phillips. Um, and I, I think this is a great platform to be able to start, sort of try and internationalize those, those, those names. The movement broke fine art traditions with its depictions of advertising, comic books, and mundane objects. Some of the iconic images on display include Alan Jones's vision of a London bus and Richard Hamilton's swinging London 67, which features Mick Jagger after an appearance in court for drugs. Several pieces in the show have sexual themes, and Kressler says they certainly evoked reactions in the 1960s. It must have been an absolute shock to everyone that came in. And I think he was really pushing those boundaries on what is art. And, you know, uh, you know many people found them extremely pornographic, but... You know, he has made that, that into a significant piece of art. There are 140 works on display, many on loan from private collections. The exhibition runs until November 23rd.